Good evening, Mr. Torrance. What'll it be? No, this isn't a bar. and I shouldn't be putting drinks on it. And I shouldn't be drinking. You join me here in Vintage Key Studios. My name is Lloyd. This is a set of Deegan Canto chimes from circa 1950. Deegan made all sorts of percussion instruments. They started making glockenspiels and xylophones and the vibraharp, or as we know, the vibraphone. Um, and I actually have in, in the studio a set of Deegan Electra Vibes, which came out in about 1970. And we're going to do another video about them later on. But these were supplied to us by the wonderful Danny Wilson from Hideaway Studio. And she managed to redo the amplifier in this and get it all working nicely as she'd had them imported from the States. So thank you, Danny. You've done a great job. If you'd like to come around this side. This thing looks like a drinks cabinet, but when you open it up, you've actually got a lovely little keyboard inside. You've got an on-off switch there, so that's off, and then on. And as you can see on there, it's got the Deegan Chime Chicago USA written on it. And when it's uh, switched on, it will allow you to play stuff like this. And the way that it's making this sound is if we have a look underneath, if I just shut that up for a second, we have a, a valve amplifier here and under here we have a set of metal rods that are all suspended on pieces of uh, very thin cotton and then sprung. Along here we have solenoids with tiny little cardboard tubes with a, with a metal pin on the end. And the idea is that when you press a note down, so if I press down a, a D, you can see that when I press that note, when I activate that switch, the solenoid um, springs up and pushes that slug, let's call it a slug, pushes the slug up. So if I switch the thing off, and press the notes, nothing's happening. So it's, it obviously needs power to power these solenoids and to actually make the electromagnets work and make the slugs shoot up. And this is a valve amplifier, as I say, this is 1950s. It's actually, it can go quite loud. It, it goes quite loud, it's not particularly nice. And it goes, actually that's okay. Let's turn it right up here. like a kind of a, it reminds me of a bureau or a drinks cabinet it's a really great thing for obviously making bell sounds tubular bell type sounds and uh, we're hoping to use it in some sessions we've got some sessions lined up for people interested in, in playing this I'm also going to be experimenting with running it through some um, pitch filtery type equipment with the harmonizer and I've got a electro harmonic ring modulator as well I thought it'd be quite interesting putting this through that and playing around with it it'll be a very useful thing at Christmas or whenever anybody rings the bell. If they're ringing the bell with some sad news, it's probably gonna be. If they're ringing the bell with some interesting news that we're not quite sure where it's gonna go, it might be. be ringing the bell with some sinister news. Or it might just be some dreadful news.
Danny says that this is the only one in the UK at this present time. So we're very proud to have it here. It's going to be going into our inventory and displayed as well as played in a museum. In my mind. It's a great little thing to have a, have a boogie to as well. It's said that Boogie Woogie was invented on this. Oh, I should say, you have to play it like you would an organ or a harpsichord. So you have to hold the notes down in order for them to ring because when you let go, the solenoid goes back uh, down and there's like a little um, piece of felt that comes in and mutes the rod. So, so you can kind of get sort of staccato sounds on it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll be back at some point in the next few days with some more videos about stuff like this. Keep safe. Cheers.